Orleans is the hub of gospel and religious music. We shall meet on that beautiful shore. What is it about certain songs that bring us to our feet? Why do they make us cry? Inspire us to dream. If you could pick the greatest of all time, which ones would you choose? Oh, when the saints go marching in, oh, when the saints go marching in, I want to be in that number, when the saints go marching in. From Congo Park to the Treme neighborhood, and stretching back hundreds of years. Spiritual music has always been a part of New Orleans. One song, however, is first in everyone's mind. There's no song that defines the city of New Orleans more than when the saints go marching in. That's our theme song. It's not a New Orleans song. Not, none of the songs that are, sung at, uh, that are played at jazz funerals or sung in church are necessarily locally regional songs. It's the way New Orleanians play them. In any version you hear, uh, of a New Orleans band doing the Saints Go Marching In always puts their own stamp on it, puts their New Orleans stamp on a song that, who knows where it came from. I'm a musicologist, I don't even know where this song came from, I just know it came to define the city of New Orleans. And I don't know if there's a day that goes by sometimes that I don't hear that song. Oh, when the Saints, oh, when the Saints go marching in, go marching in, when the Saints go marching in. the saints go marching in to the Zion harmonizers mean when we shall be, accept, be accepted into the city of God. It means that on that day when the Lord shall return in the cloud with his holy angels, if we've lived up to all the light that we've had, we will be accepted into his kingdom. When the saints go marching in, we shall be with the Lord forevermore. series of New Orleans brass bands. But of course, being a brass band from New Orleans, part of their repertoire includes funeral songs. The jazz funeral is really a distinctly New Orleans tradition, where a brass band leads a funeral march uh, on the way to the grave playing slow, sad music, and then after burial playing this very happy music on the way to the return, and the, and, the, and the mournful march turns into this joyful celebration. 
the jazz funeral begins with the slow, sad dirge. The most well-known of all of them is just a closer walk with the this old spiritual tune from I think the late 1800s that has become a brass band standard and has become the um, the iconic song that starts off the jazz funeral. Once the body has been laid in the ground, then it's the triumph. We've transcended the physical body. We are now with God, with the divine, and so we celebrate. We celebrate the life that's lived. We celebrate the hope. Well, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Oh, this little light of mine, you know that I'm gonna let it shine. Oh, yeah. New Orleans has always been a musical city. When you go back and read the accounts, and I'm talking into the late 1700s when, when uh, travelers first started coming here, they almost always commented upon how music crazy this town was.
Down by the Riverside, a great example of a, a upbeat spiritual, a gospel song that gets sung all around the country, but in New Orleans, it intersects with that jazz female tradition and the brass band tradition. So you may not even ever sing the, the, the verse or the chorus to Down by the Riverside. It may be played entirely instrumental by these instruments in the brass band, the trumpets, the trombones, the saxophones, the tubas, the drums, blaring this uh, uh, up-tempo, upbeat gospel uh, music, but, but in an incredibly distinctive, only in New Orleans way. I feel like uh, New Orleans is the hub of gospel and religious music. And we just love every opportunity we get a chance to sing and sing together. There are plenty of important gospel singers that came out of New Orleans. Mary Jackson might be one of the most obvious. Bessie Griffin would be another. I think New Orleans music is just such a great example of, of beauty and joy and emotion that's so deep that 
that uh, slavery can't shake it, that Jim Crow can't shake it, that Katrina can't shake it. You can just keep going back and back to that place and it's, it's so healing for so many people. Well, there's a land that is fairer than day And by faith we can see it afar For the Father waits over the way To prepare us a dwelling place there In that sweet Riverside Folk live on Bourbon Street. We got Sticks, which is AKA known as the one man band around this cut. So, whoever is viewing this thing, I want you to know you got a chance to view a legend here in New Orleans. <laughs> 